Why speed matters. So I want to show you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about an animation in 20 minutes. For example, here I have someone on LinkedIn, that's the kitchen designer, who asked me, uh, can you do also curves on your kitchen design? And to make an impression, so I post made an animation and there was this one. It's a very bad kitchen design, but uh, it's about the joke. So uh, um, it took me two hours to set everything up and to uh, model that curve design and etc. Uh, so that's what I mean with speed. I mean, in 20 minutes, make an animation. For example, when I reply on LinkedIn, there's a message like that, or there is some uh, important news on Twitter, or whatever it is. I want to jump right in and like that, or maybe a Blender artist or other news. Or when I promote my own products, I want to be also fast. I don't want to spend too much time on animations. By the way, here an example. I rendered this out in Eevee, and that took me one second, 36 milliseconds. And this one, uh, it's a very simple one, but and this was in cycles that is 9 seconds 36 but we will see later on more about uh, noise and animations with cycles and EV. Here another example of why speed matters. A kitchen designer who is using CAD asked me how much it would cost to render his uh, work. So I checked the average uh, salary of a 3D visualizer and that is like, let me see, that is like 20, 21 pounds uh, per hour, if I'm not wrong. 20, yeah, something like that. Uh, so uh, you need to uh, set up uh, the scenes, uh, the lighting, etc., UV unwrap, uh, find the textures, above some sharp edges, checking normals. Etc. So that's the initial um, basic uh, setup, and that would cost um, 45 pounds. Let me check. So 45 pounds to dollars, and that would be 62 dollars. I think it would take like uh, three hours or four hours. And then there's a choice to render on cycles or to render on EV. You see that in cycles the runner time is like five minutes to get it noise free. Yeah, you can have one uh, still, uh, like with uh, 100 samples, you do uh, a denoiser and then it looks fine. But if you animate, you need much more samples than that. So uh, in that case, for an animation, render time is approximately five minutes, depends on your hardware, of course, and an EV, uh, runner time is 15 seconds or, or less. But I calculate 15 seconds uh, here. So in that case, yeah, uh, we'll go down. At the end, uh, I have to ask for a visual visualization of 30 seconds for cycles, I have to ask $139. Um, and for EV, $65. That's uh, one reason why speed is important. I ask people, what is the reason you don't use EV? People say, I got used to cycles. I still need to learn EV, or some say even cycles is faster, but I will come back to that later. When I check uh, social media uh, for about tweets about EV, I see examples like that, like this. When I go to Discord about the human generator, I see uh, randoms uh, like that, for example. So it seems that mm, quite some people know how to set up cycles, but I'm not surprised that many people don't 
and know how to set up Psychos properly because there are loads of settings over here. So you got this uh, screen space reflections, those settings over here and the direct lighting. You got the irradiance volume and you got the reflection probe. Then you have also the lights, the bias, the contact shadow, settings for the shadows, etc. So a good thing that in EV Express, you with one press on a button, it will set up all those all those uh, settings. So that saves a lot of time, and you can also choose one um, preset, one preset, and I will uh, load the preset like that. So if I'm going to be in the right light. And then we got our scene over here. And if we render this out, I press a render, a render image. We see it's um, almost uh, six seconds for this uh, picture over here. And it is uh, noise free, no noise. The next video will show us what you can do with the EV production suite, what the workflow is. Stay tuned. Another awesome way of modeling. Here, let's say I have this uh, model, I want to change uh, um, this uh, wall over here. So what I can do is I duplicate that over here and I press here, make local. So I make that local and then I go in edit mode. Edit mode and look good, for example. Uh, select the faces like that, extrude a bit. Like so, and then I say, I click those three, then that one, place assets, and you see this. And if I go in edit mode of this one, so I can do things like that. Grab on the Y. So that's pretty cool, right? So um, let's go here on top. Yeah, that's really awesome. Before I jump over to the videos that show all the features, I do a quick walkthrough so you have an idea what's included. So this is the EV Express. If you click uh, thumbnail, replace the light setups. You can add uh, a smoke a global shader. Then you can adjust uh, the lights uh, with all these um, UIs buttons. Then you have the render settings, very important. So if you change uh, the light setup, first thing you want to do is change the render settings and then bake and drag light. Color management, so that's normally far away somewhere in the UI, but you need that quite often. Uh, also with camera settings, these are all over the place in Blender, so you got here everything close together. Global shader, a bit unknown feature, but very cool. You will see that in the, in the next videos. Documentation, if you click this one, you get documentation right into your uh, web browser. Or you can reach out to us on Twitter, you can join Discord and you have some tutorials over here. Then you can also adjust um, the light with this UI. And interesting is you can bake uh, the light setup into a HDRI. And <clears throat> that's useful if you want to work in cycles a bit faster. Then you got the asset library. So it doesn't stop with all those features, right? So you, you click uh, uh, on uh, the D cat categories and then you can place that into your scene like that and they will uh, snap. So those are modular assets. 
and then you got the procedural shaders like a fake ladder over here. You got uh, something like uh, metals, you can put down those metals to a scene, you can add, assign them to that object. But that's not all, we have also the material notes add on, and with that you can, uh, you see your building blocks, you have also a mask, you can bake your mask, and you can build your own uh, mater procedural material like that. Next one is the compositing notes, uh, quite important because uh, it's a long story, I have a tutorial about that, but some notes are not uh, working uh, in Blender properly, and that's because the developers, that they didn't realize that the formula behind it doesn't work on um, the scene referred data. So in our scene, we have very high and low values, <clears throat> like infinite, but many nodes, many nodes in bl uh, Blender, like um, and, uh, yeah, especially this one, uh, brightness contrast, uh, they work on on display uh, data. Uh, that story is too long, but what you see here in the um, compositing notes that is safe to use and very interesting is the pivoted contrast. Uh, I have also a tutorial about that if you want to see that. Right, so let's jump over to uh, the very interesting videos you're going to show, uh, see right now. <laughs> 